We've got a period recipe here for a commissary beef stew that was furnished by a Captain Sanderson during the, the war, um, trying to evoke, uh, you know, the plentiful um, sort of heady, heady days of occupation when perhaps they were able to acquire, you know, food foodstuffs that weren't, uh, weren't too terrible. Um, knowing that Union soldiers would normally be provisioned on all kinds of things that were like salted and preserved and, and hardly palatable to so many, hardtack and all that business that you've heard so much about was really into to Civil War food history. So in this case we've got, you know, we've got a, an interesting sampling. We're making our beef stew. We had some, we had some, uh, some pork and eggs this morning. Again, some luxuries. And uh, we're having a bit of an oyster roast. So we're going to try to uh, capitalize on some of the local and uh, seasonal goodies that can be found around these parts. Minute by minute, we'll hopefully get closer to completion because we got a whole bunch of guys behind us with guns and bayonets and swords. And you can imagine that if we wait a little too long that they may be a little uh, disgruntled if we don't provide them with uh, some kind of foodstuffs in the near future.